the way we think of grace is more to do with forgiveness a lot, isn't it, too? Like, so perhaps I could talk about a little bit about what divine forgiveness is. And it relates to the law, what's called the law of compensation or the law of karma, of what people know today. And when you do something that harms another person in love, so in other words, you take an action that harms somebody else and it was an unloving action. Now, whether you've done it intentionally or unintentionally, we won't worry ourselves about it at this moment. If you've done it intentionally, there will be a different effect on your soul than if you've done it unintentionally. Does that make sense? So, so we won't be too concerned about that. There is different degrees of what's happening. It, so we could do the same action. So, for example, a man could kill another man, but one man killing the other man, it might be an accident. Another one, it might be, uh, you know, out of a fit of rage, and then the other one might have been really planned and well conceived, and then he did it. And all of those different things obviously have different degrees of soul damage to the person carrying out the act. But every one of those actions creates some soul damage inside of my own soul that I will at some point need to feel in the future. And the law of compensation says uh, that every single thing that I have ever created harmful to anything around me, I will have to actually feel. When you think about that, that's quite a scary proposition. Yeah. Yes, it is. Isn't it? So that means every time you've harmed one of your children, whether it was unintentional or intentional, there's different degrees of soul damage that you did to them, and therefore also soul damage that you've done to yourself. And the law of compensation will require a payment, basically, of that. It will require you to feel that damage that you did to the person at some point in the future. Now, of course, obviously, if I've done a lot of damage to lots of different people, like someone like Hitler or something like that, or you know, I've been involved in war and killing and murdering people or whatever, then obviously there's quite a lot of soul damage, isn't there, that I'm going to have to work my way through from those, from those choices and decisions. Now, you can see why a lot of spirits then would pass, people would pass in the spirit world and spend hundreds or even thousands of years dealing with each of those emotions. And uh, this is one thing I'd just like to mention as a side point. In the book Post Mortem Journal, where D. H. Lawrence, where, where uh, Lawrence of Arabia's um, experience was, he actually mentioned going through the law of compensation with a with a man that he murdered, and and what what he actually went through emotionally in that book. So it's very interesting read from the law of compensation point. Of view. So that was just an aside. Now the law of compensation. Um, is a law that you will have to work your way through on the natural love path. In other words, you cannot get to the sixth sphere of the spirit world without going through every single thing and compensating for every single thing that you did unlovingly when you were on earth or in the spirit world when you first arrived because a lot still continue unloving actions when they first pass. Now, the law of divine love, which you could also call the law of grace, um, does something that enables the law of conversation to not operate upon the soul. And what it does is that the law of grace or the law of divine love is that if you have a sincere repentance in your heart and remorse for the things that you've done and you have a preparedness to experience the emotion of all of that truth of what you've done and what it created, and you direct that remorse and, and feelings towards God, then God's love can actually enter you and help you, and it removes the causes, it removes the reasons why you did those things from you, as long as you have that emotional openness to, to actually go through that experience. Now that is going to mean that for very short and intense periods of time, you are going to experience some very short but very intense emotions because of that being willing to actually go into that state of remorse. And the remorse can't be fate. You can't say, oh, I'm sorry, God, because yeah, I did that, I did this, I did that. It's going to have to be felt. Right? 
It's going to have to be sincerely felt inside of your heart. But when it does, it activates this law of love between yourself and God. The law of divine forgiveness is activated. And God's love comes and actually does remove <coughs> the underlying causes so that the law of compensation doesn't act anymore upon the soul. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. so, so if you enter this relationship with God, you can progress in a year on earth here through all of these emotions and also through all of the things that you created that were harmful to others and get into a state of near at one moment or at one moment with God in that space of time that if you just did it through the, through the natural love law of compensation process, you would spend hundreds or even thousands of years working your way through some of these issues, depending on your willingness to actually experience the emotion. So my suggestion <laughs> is to really sincerely get onto the divine love path and let yourself sincerely work through not just the things that others have done to you, because often that's the group of emotions we're very comfortable dealing with. So, oh yeah, my dad did this, and my mum did that, and my brother did this, and my sister did that, and my boss did that to me. All these stuff done to me. We're really comfortable with dealing with all of that. When I say comfortable, we at least can face a lot of those things emotionally without too much problem. The thing usually that we have the most discomfort with is the negative things and unloving things we've done to ourselves and the unloving things and negative things that we've done to others. They are the two areas that we find that it's a lot harder to work through emotionally with. Thank you. Mm. It is accelerating the whole this whole process is accelerating right now. Energies are being downloaded at a tremendous rate of the divine love. That's right. That's right. The more truth you face about divine love and how it all works, <coughs> and the more truth you even hear, the more will actually flow through you as well. And this is why even discussions like this, you can go away for months and process lots and lots of different things just from an, having an awakening about certain things that are triggering an awakening in you right now. So even just talking about these things and understanding them more does help the entire emotional process. And you'll find that um, you, you will have big shifts emotionally if you allow that process to just continue.